I'm going to show uh, throwing a foot on this on this bowl here. I made these bowls yesterday. I've got a few of these, and they're made out of about two and a half pounds of clay. And you can see I've altered the rim a little bit, <clears throat> but they just have a flat bottom. They were cut right off the bat, and um, I've been playing around with um, throwing some feet on pots. I've made some little cups. You know me with uh, thrown feet, and um, so I thought it would be nice to try it on some bowls too, and just get a nice pedestal type foot on these. Not a real high foot, but just a different um, <clears throat> type foot than a regular cut foot that I'd normally do. So I basically just cleaned that up a little bit. This didn't require a lot of uh, turning away of uh, extra clay. There wasn't a whole lot of extra there. And then I'm just going to score that. I use this serrated rib to score with. It's a lot quicker than using the needle tool or a um, or something like that. I found that little trick out. Somebody showed me that along quite a while ago. So anyway, just a serrated rib. And then um, I've rolled out these coils and. I'm going to just lay this down here on the perimeter of the pot, or the, the outside edge there. Of that. That's a little short, just a tiny bit too small. So I think I'm going to get another coil. I've got a longer one here. Let's see, let me slip that again. Okay. I didn't, that one was a little short, so I'm going to put this one on here. You can extrude these coils if you wanted. And I like to, um, let's see, I like to overlap the right hand coil over the left hand end of the coil because when I throw this, I don't know that it matters, but um, I'm going to cut it at an angle like this so that that will sort of continue in that direction. I don't know if that's really necessary. It's just, you know, the way I do it. So I'm just going to gently push this down on here. And I'm really using my thumb to um, push this inside edge down and make a little make a little I guess a flange, a little flare, and you don't want a big um, bump right there where those two bits meet, so if there's extra clay there you can cut it away or um, smooth it up. <clears throat> so now I'm going to throw this and I'm going to push down using my thumb and middle finger and I'm going to, I'm not going to try to blend this in, I'm just going to push down to um, connect this to the pot and I'm going to push down on this outside bit here to, to uh, make a little ledge right here too. So that's the first thing I'm going to do with a little bit of water. And you can see I'm throwing this on a, uh, on a foam bat. I'm doing that because the lips on these are altered and if I put it on a on the wheel head then they get it sort of messes with them a little bit. So that looks pretty good just like it is. You can see I've just pushed down here and pushed down on the inside and made a little flare there. Um, just looking at it, I can tell that that's too narrow, so I'm going to flare it out a little bit. I'm going to bring it out a little. I'm going to compress it. And I like the uh, I like this little change in direction here, where the foot meets the meets the pot. So I'm going to push down on that a little bit just to give that just a tiny bit of a line there. I haven't done many of these, so it's I'm sort of learning what looks good, and it's usually best just to flip it over 
and have a look at it. So I think that's okay. I mean this is definitely a different foot than I would normally cut on a pot. It's a taller foot, it's sort of a flared out foot. Normally I would make like a straight foot or just a tiny bit of a cut on the, uh, sort of a tiny little ledge on the, on the feet. Um, but anyway, I think these are sort of ornate bowls and they'll get decorated and, um, and everything. So uh, it's kind of fun to do something that's a little different. I'll just take a little bit of that away there just to give that profile a different look. All right, so there's one, one down. Got a few more to go, but that'll give you an idea of how simple that is and um, you can try it on some different things. All right, see ya.